Did you guys see there was a big addition to the runway motion brush feature? There's now five different brushes you can use on one image to create multiple areas of motion. So I thought today we would just jump in. This is going to be a quick video just to kind of show you how I've been playing with these new tools in the addition of the extra brushes. So come into Runway and on the home screen here, you've got an option to start with image or start with text. I have an image I'm going to use, so I'm gonna do start with image. You can upload a file if you have a particular image that you want to pull in from another AI tool that you've downloaded it from, or if you just have a, a picture in general that you wanna use, or you can come over to select from assets. I already have the picture uploaded, so I'm going to do select from assets. And I'm just going to select the picture that I want here. So you'll see it's just a woman walking her dog on the beach. I think there's a lot of options for us to put some motion on it. So I'm going to come in and hit this motion brush beta here. And you can see now instead our motion brush sizer used to be up here where we could pick the size. It's now down here. Um, same with the erase. It used to be up here. Now it's down here. So you know where those are. And then you've got your brush options up here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you'll notice they're each a different color when you roll over them. That color coordinates when you go ahead and mark up the image. So let's take a look here at brush one and let's make it a little bit smaller here. Let me see. Might need it actually a little bit bigger to cover the dog. Okay, that should work. So once we've selected how big we want it, we're going to come in and I'm just going to paint the area that I want motion brush one to have the motion. So I'm going to do the dog here. And remember, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It will get the gist of the fact that I want the dog to move. Okay. And for the dog, I would like the dog to have a horizontal type movement. So I'm going to bump this up to about, let's go three here on that. And then the ambient noise, I'm going to go ahead and turn that up on here to about 7.5. Okay, so now I've got the motion on the dog. Now let's go ahead and put some motion on the water behind her. So for this one, I'm going to use a bigger brush here. And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to highlight some of these waves back here. Paying special attention to stay away from her because I don't want her to move and warp with the water. So we've got the water all highlighted here. And for that, I'm going to put it on horizontal. Let's say we want the waves coming in. I'm going to go to a three with that. And then I'm actually going to add a little bit of vertical. I want it to kind of look like it's going down with the waves. So I'm going to move that over to two. Okay, 2.1 it is. And then the ambient noise, I'm going to slide that up to about eight five on this one and I'm going to hit save again. So now I should get movement in the dog and the waves behind her. So let's check that out. All I got to do is hit generate right here. Okay. So now it is completed on that four second video. So we can take a look at it by hitting the play button here. And you can see it did a really nice job on the waves. The dog is a little wonky. You can see the leg back here kind of it's a little off. I could probably lower the amount of movement I put on that. That might help that. Um, and then you can see where her arm kind of picked up a little bit of the motion, but that's okay. That looks more natural than not. So that's two brushes on that one. Let's see what we can do on an image with three brushes. I'm going to come back to select assets. And this time I'm going to use this Nordic warrior that I have here. And the first thing I'm going to put the motion on is her sword. I'm going to make her raise that sword, hopefully. So I'm going to make a pretty small point here with brush one. And I'm just going to highlight the actual sword. And I'm going to go ahead and give that some vertical action. I want it to come up. So I'm going to go ahead and raise that up quite a bit to five to see what we get there. And then with brush two, I'm gonna come in and I want her cape to move a little bit. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here and come in and highlight around her cape. And then there's a little bit here. And for that, I think I'm gonna just do a little bit of horizontal movement. So it looks like it's maybe blowing in the wind a little bit. We'll bring that up to two. And then with the third brush here, I wanna make this look like it's moving up in the sky. So I'm gonna highlight this 
And I think for that, I'm going to go ahead and do the horizontal up to three. And I'm going to put the ambient noise on eight. I'm going to go back and do that for each brush. So you can see if you just go back to the original brush you were working with, it will allow you to alter those while it keeps the, the rest of the settings the same. Okay, so we got three brushes of movement on here. So we should see some movement up here. We should see some movement in the sword. We should see some movement in her cape. Go ahead and hit save, generate. Okay, so now that three brush movement is done, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so you can see that her sword is coming up nicely. A little weird how she's putting her arm back with it, but all in all, that is a good representation of what I was looking for on that. Her dress is billowing in the wind nicely. It did give her top of the body a little bit more motion than I would have liked, kind of stretched it out from back here in the cape, I suppose, but it does still have a good feel to it. It didn't, you know, like over exaggerate the length of her body or anything like that that would cause it to be really chaotic looking. And then up here, you can see that the sky part that I highlighted is moving. So all in all, the three brush, pretty cool. Okay, so now let's take a look at some four brush action here. So I've got a photo already uploaded. So again, if I come into home and I do start with image, I can do select from assets. And I'm going to do this butterfly fairy here. Motion brush again. So we got a couple of different things we're going to put motion on here. I need a small brush to start with brush one. First thing I want to put the motion on is the water coming down this waterfall. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a highlight here. Okay. And I just want it to look like it's coming down. So vertically, I'm going to go towards the down arrow and I'm going to go pretty significant on this. I think I'm going to go to like five. And then on the ambient noise, I'm going to bring that all the way up to 10 on this one. If you want to know more about ambient noise, you can check out the video. I'll link it right up here that we recently did on what the ambient noise is and how to better control it. And then for brush two here, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put some motion on her actual wings. So I wanna make my brush a little bit bigger down here. And then I'm gonna come in and just trace over where her wings are. I'm gonna stop short of where her hair is in hopes that that won't put movement on her actual hair, just maybe on the wings. And for that, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go with a horizontal movement on this one. I just want it to be super light movement. So I'm only gonna go up to one and a half here. And then to sort of give it the appearance that it's being, her wings are being lifted up by the wind. I think I'm gonna do vertical as well up to one. And then ambient noise, I'm gonna take that all the way up to 10 as well on this one. And then brush three here. I'd like this butterfly, I'm gonna highlight it. I would like that butterfly to look like it is flying up. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up to about five on the butterfly. Ambient noise, I'm gonna take that up about halfway to five on this one. And then for brush four, let's go ahead and see if we can add some movement to this water right here coming down the rocks. This will be a more challenging get to get this to move without interfering with her hand or the other butterfly. But I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the water movement just around here. And then for this, I'm gonna do vertical. I want it to come down. So I'm gonna do vertical, a very slight movement here. We'll go one. And ambient noise, I'm gonna take that all the way up to 10. Okay, so now you see we've got brush one is the purple. Brush two is the pinkish red color here. Brush three is the green and brush four is the water right here coming through the rocks. So I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna go ahead. I could change the camera motion if I wanted to make the camera look like it was moving as well. I think there's enough to look at in this one particular thing with the four things of movement. So I'm not gonna change anything on there, but just to show you, this is where you could change it as if you were behind the camera and making these movements. And then you can see here that it's actually got a seed number for it and there is an option for upscale. It does increase the time a little bit, but I find it is good to use when you have the multiple brushes that you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate now. Okay, so here we go, let's take a look. We should see some movement here on this waterfall, in the water here on the rocks, this butterfly and her wings. So let's see what we got. Okay, the butterfly is moving up, the water is flowing down, 
The rock water here didn't put much movement on the actual rocks, but it did add quite a bit down here. You can see it kind of warped her hand a little bit if I make this bigger. So that's not great, but all in all, her wings are moving right. So all in all, I mean, just to see the four motion brushes in action different ways. Before, when we only had the one brush, you'll remember you could only put one type of movement on everything that you were selecting with that brush. So to be able to move all of these things individually and separately is really a game changer. So for the final one, let's take a look at putting five things of motion on an image. Okay, five brush, here we go. Start with image. I'm gonna do from assets. I've got this image here with a lot going on. Motion brush again. Tap to get started. Brush one this time. We're gonna do this waterfall. So I want it to appear like it's coming down, but ever so slightly. So I'm going to only put that at a one. And ambient noise, I'm gonna put it at a 10. Brush two here. I'm gonna highlight this butterfly. Maybe make my brush a little bit smaller. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have that butterfly fly up pretty significantly, three and a half is good. And then I also want it to fly over towards the woman. So I'm gonna come over about 0.1 and ambient noise, I'm gonna set it 7.5 for this one. And then for brush three, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to brush over this wolf here. And I want it to appear as though it's walking out of frame. So I'm going to do horizontal. I'm going to go up to two and a half. Ambient noise, I'm going to pull that one up to an 8.6. Brush four here. I want to move the water that's behind her here in the valley. And I want that movement to be ever so slight. So I'm going to do horizontal 0.1 and vertical. I'm going to do 0.1 because I want it to appear as though it's actually zigzagging down there. I'm not sure if that'll work, but we're going to give it a shot. And then brush five here. I want the sun to appear as though it's moving. So I'm going to highlight the whole sun and I want it to appear like it is moving to the left here. So I'm going to do a two that direction. And ambient noise, I'm gonna take that one all the way up to a 10. So you see we've got our five brushes here. Brush one is purple, brush two is pink, brush three is the green wolf, brush four is the water in the valley, and brush five is the sun. So let's go ahead and hit save and generate. Again, I could choose to turn this off, upscale off if I wanted but I'm gonna leave it the way it is on here and I'm gonna do generate. Okay, there we go. We got our five brush image here. So let's take a look at what we got. Okay, that did not work as well as I had hoped it would. Um, the wolf looks like it's dissolving instead of moving forward. Um, the water is coming down pretty nicely. I like that on our brush one here. This water kind of looks like it's like almost like clouds on the ground instead of water moving. Um, and then the butterfly did definitely warp on the way up. But these are all new features, so they're improving every single day. And if you go in and tweak the settings, you would probably come up with a different result. You can lower some of the motion, you could increase the direction, those sort of things. But overall, I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of what the five motion brush feature in runway is now so be sure you go check it out yourself and thanks for spending some time to check it out with me my name's jessica with the real ai agents as always keep looking towards the future